The visibility and graphic option in Revit is a powerful tool that lets us control the appearance of elements in our model. I rely on this tool a lot, finding myself pressing VV every few minutes while using Revit. Seeing your request for videos on this topic, I decided to create a practical video to show how this tool can transform a simple section into an amazing view. So let's start. To find this tool, you can go to View tab and Graphics section. In this part, you can see the visibility and graphic. If you hover your mouse over its icon, you can see its shortcut which is VG, but it works with VV2. If you click on it, you can see a window like this. In top part, you can see visibility graphic overrides for section, section number 5, which is the view that we are going to work on. This means that visibility and graphic work separately for each view, for each plan, section, or elevation. This is really good because we can control different parts, different views separately. So, we have a few tabs in here. First, we have model category, which shows you all of the different categories that we use in Revit. In this part, you can filter them by the discipline. So we have architecture, structure, MEP section, and infrastructure. I usually use these two parts, so I have them checked. And also, if you want to find any specific category, you can search its name. In this part, we can see all of different categories. We have areas, columns, doors, floors. Then we have furniture, railing, and the stairs. After that, we have structural elements. And at the end, walls and windows. If they are checked, you can see them inside this view. But if you uncheck them, they are going to be invisible like this. Next, two main parts that we have in this section is the projection or surface and the cut section. We have lines, patterns, and transparency for projection and only lines and patterns for cut. For example, if you have a window on an elevation that you can see perfectly without any cut and you want to change its lines color or maybe the lines pattern, you need to go to this part and in Windows category, click on the line and in here you can change the line pattern, the color of those lines and also the weight of them. But if that window has cuts, you might see it on a section. You need to go to this part and change those lines and patterns. This is for the lines and the pattern on this part means the pattern of the line. But this pattern is for the face, is for the surface and we have the foreground and background for it. If you open it, you can see the patterns are completely different and they are used for surfaces. We also have transparency on surface section which you can use to make different elements transparent. Or you can just simply check this halftone section to make that element kind of transparent. Now let's see how we can actually use it for this section. I'm going to first change the visual style to hidden line. We need to start with most important parts. For example, for this view, I think most important parts are walls and floors. So press VV and go to walls section. In this part, we're going to start with cut section. And for its line, I'm going to change the color to something green, maybe something like this. And I'm going to add it to custom colors so I can use it later. And OK. For the weight, I'm going to put it on 4. And for the pattern, I'm going to select the solid. And OK. Now, for the lines, I will use the same color, this one. And for the pattern, again, I'm going to use solid. But for the weight, I will use number 2. For the patterns in cut section, I'm going to go to this part and since I don't want to use any special pattern for this part, I'm going to use a very simple grayish green color like this and I'm going to again add it to these custom colors. And for its pattern, I'm going to use this solid fill and OK. For the patterns on surface, I am not going to use any different colors. Again, this one, but a little bit lighter like this. Okay, and 
for its pattern, I will use solid fill. Okay, now let's see how it looks in the view. Well, I think it looks good. I like it. After that, we are going to change the color of these floors and this roof. So I'm going to press VV and in here, I will select the floor and the roof with control. In cut section for lines, I'm going to use the same solid pattern. For the color, I will use a little bit darker green, something like this. Okay. And for the weight, I am going to use this number five or six let's go with six and okay for the lines in surface i will use the same setting so i'm going to put it on solid for the color i will use this one and for the weight i am going to go with four for patterns in cut section i will use the solid pattern this one and for the color i'm going to go with something similar to these colors maybe something like this and i'm going to add it to custom color again okay and also for the pattern i'm going to use the same color because we don't have that much cuts in these parts they are all in surface or the projection section so i'm going to turn this one to solid fill and for the color i'm going to use this color and okay i think it looks good after that, I think we need to continue with these columns in here. So go to VV again and in column section, they are not the structural columns. If you want to change the structural columns and the architecture columns, you need to use control and click on this structural columns too and then change their setting so for columns 2 i'm going to use a similar pattern and column i'm not going to change the pattern or the color and this is how it looks okay i think it looks good now it's time for topography section scroll down to here and i am going to select both of them so we don't have any surface or projection in this view for the topography so we are going to go with cut section for the lines i am going to go with black color and solid pattern for its weight i will select this number eight and okay but for the pattern as you can see we have a pattern for the foreground in here so if i go to override in this part you can see the earth pattern in here if you want to change the foreground and background separately you can select a separate and different pattern and color for different parts for the background i am going to go with a very dark green something like this and okay for the pattern of the background, I'm going to use this solid fill. But for the foreground, I will select, for example, this color and OK. But for its pattern, I'm going to use this earth pattern and OK. Now I'm going to apply. OK, we cannot see it perfectly, but we have the pattern in this part. I'm going to go back and change the foreground pattern to something a bit lighter. So in the background, I am going to go with something like this. Okay, I think it's better. And for the foreground, I am going to go with, for example, this one. And okay, yes, this is much better time for changing the visibility of different objects and families that i have added to this project so first you need to check their category for example if you want to change for example the visibility of this chair you need to check whether it's on a furniture category or it's on generic model or any other category that it is so I have checked them before and i'm going to go to visibility and graphic and with control i'm going to select all of them furniture furniture system lighting fixture the planting and maybe the site section or any other category that you want then i'm going to check this half tone because this gives a little bit depth to the view and after that, I'm going to change only this projection section. For the lines, I'm going to select something red 
dark red maybe something like this okay for its pattern i'm going to go with solid and for the weight number one is good for the pattern i'm going to go with something similar but a bit lighter maybe something like this with a little bit gray okay and for the pattern i'm going to use this solid pattern okay and let's apply to see how it looks good i think it looks really good let's also check transparency you see these personas and these trees the birds in here they are detail items so if you go to visibility and graphic however they are 2d annotations you can see the detail item in here if you want to make them transparent you can go to transparency section and add as much transparency as you want let's go with only like 40 percent to see how it looks if you want you can also change the lines around them and also you can add them patterns so i'm going to go to patterns only and for this part i will give them a really gray color like this something very light okay and for the pattern i'm going to use this solid fill and okay we can see this tree behind this one and also we can see the stairs beyond this couple i think it looks good well i think it's enough for the model category let's go to visibility and graphic and to the annotation category in here you can see all of the different annotation and 2d details that we have in our view you can see all of the tags you can see dimension grids levels rooms and stuff like this in here if you don't want to see any annotation you can simply uncheck this and all of the annotation will disappear or if you want to see for example some of them you can keep this checked and from this part you can uncheck whatever that you don't want to see for example let's say you don't want to see the grids you can uncheck it and they will be invisible in here but we still have the levels and dimension you can also change the color of these annotations so we don't have the pattern or the cut section in here and we only have the lines for example let's say you add tags for floors and you want to change only the tags of the floors go to this part and in here you can change the color pattern and the weight in some sections like grids you might see this part that is grayed out this is because one you need to change them directly from the edit type you need to select the grid and go to edit type and change the grid line or the grid head directly from there or you need to go to object style in here you need to search for example for the grid and in this part you can change the grid head you can change its color you can change its line weight and also you can change the align pattern they are exactly the same but it gives us a bit more control over 2d and 3d models now i don't want to see any annotation for this view so i'm going to uncheck this and okay so this was everything that we need to know about the visibility and graphic section you can use all of these changes and settings for different plans for the elevation and also the 3d view now to complete this video i'm going to share two more bonus tips with you but before that i would like to ask you to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you until now so let's say you just want to change the appearance of these doors and not these different doors so you need to select them and go to override by element in here you can see all of those settings so if you want to change the line you can go to this part the projection line and change them from here so for the color i'm going to use this color for example and for the weight i will use this number one and the solid pattern and also if you want to change the pattern you can go to surface pattern this section in here and you can change the color for example to this one and for the pattern you can select the solid pattern or any pattern that you want i'm going to use the solid pattern 
you can also use transparency for it if you want i am going to add like 20 percent transparency and then if they have cuts you can change them from here you have the cut line and cut pattern and okay in this way you can easily change the appearance of an element without changing the appearance of the whole category tip number two is about the display option if you go to visual style and graphic display options you can see all of different options that we have in here i'm going to first check this smooth lines with anti-aliasing because it will smooth our lines and it will make the appearance a little bit better so for the shadow i'm going to check both of them and then sketchy lines i'm going to check it and i will add two jitter and two extension for it for the depth skewing, I'm going to check this show depths. We don't have this section for the 3D views and for like floor plans, but in section and elevation, we can have the depth skewing. So I'm going to check it. And for the lighting, I'm going to add a little bit ambient lighting. And then for the background, I'm going to use an image. From this part, you need to select the image that you want to add. So I created before and I'm going to add my image to this part, something like this. In here, you can control the scale and the offset. And this part is exactly the crop region that you have on your view. So if you change the crop region, your image will change accordingly. Now I'm going to apply to see how it looks. We have a beautiful depth on this view and we might need to change the sun setting a little bit and also I really like to make these two trees transparent so we don't see these gray parts in here and yes that's it I really hope it was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching this see you soon